I've taken a little bit of text from your community post and I've just translated it English US to English GB just to make it easier to follow. So we have got each of these four sequences translated and you can see the results coming up in the translation memory results window. So that's all I have in this TM, just those four segments. So I'm going to close that, come down to my folder and I'm going to open up a second draft of that same file where I've made a few corrections, put some track changes in there and I've added three comments, which is the scenario I think you've been painting. I'm going to take that file and drop it into here as a source file and then prepare it for translation and go through a pre-translate. Now because I've got track changes in that file and I've asked Studio to extract the track changes, the results it gives me are matches from the translation memory um, but it's telling me these are track changes and it's taking uh, it'll, it'll take them as if those track changes have been accepted and compare them to the result in the translation memory. So I'm getting an 88% match, but Studio is cognizant of the fact that this is a track change segment. So I can go through and I can make some changes in here now um, after I set the track changes. So the first thing I go to do is to switch to the review mode and then click on track changes just to activate the track changes. Okay, so now when I come over to here, I can go through and I can translate the changes only in this document. So I can delete that word, and send to both, what is this, or both of the parties involved for comment. So I've translated that first segment, and now I can confirm that to the translation memory. Now if I go back into that segment, you'll see that's now a context match based on the source segment having got accepted changes. So it's taking those changes that are showing there as though they're accepted. What it's also doing is if I flick up to my project settings and just check this box to search for fuzzy matches, even if an exact match is found, when I come back to that, you'll see that I've still got the original translation in there. So it's, it's storing it as a separate TU. So I've got both in there, I haven't lost anything. So I come down to the next segment. Now the next segment is an interesting one because it has a comment in there. Now because I've got track changes on, I don't want to start adding tags and things in there because it's going to assume that I'm changing something and it's going to apply track changes which I don't want. All I want to do here is to add the comments in and translate the track changes that are already in there. So the way to tackle this is first of all deal with the track changes. So received and updated source file. And I'm not going to confirm that. I'm going to leave that for a second. I'm just going to move down. So I'm going to leave these ones which have comments in them as draft. You could change the status to something else if you wanted to, but don't confirm it into your TM. If you do, you'll get an error. It'll still confirm it, but you'll get a, an error, a warning message. So the client wants to delete this and type in the new version of, of the source file with track changes and comments translated, which I'm going to ignore the comment tags and I'm just going to complete this sentence, complete with these changes. Complete with these changes. And I'm not going to confirm that one either. I'll come down to the next segment and I make my changes here. So what I'm doing here is I'm changing that for or deleting deleted sections and replacing it with parts of the text that have been deleted. Parts of the text that have been deleted. And I'm not going to confirm that one either. Then I'll come down to my comments. I'm going to translate my comments. So I'm just going to add uh, my initials Oops, I want to do that. I'm just going to add my initials at the beginning of that, just so that's a slightly different comment. Confirm that one as well. Add my initials again, and add my initials on this one too. So I've confirmed those. So all of that is in my TM. 
then I want to go back and deal with all the segments that I left draft. If they're all over the document, if you go to the advanced filter or to the normal filter under review and um, click on my filter attributes and I'll just filter on draft, then all I'm going to get is, is the segments which are left draft, so it's going to be easier to find them. And then I'm going to go to the review tab and I'm going to turn off the track changes because I want to apply the tags for the comments and add the comments in without track changes. So here I'm going to press control comma 11, add that comment in and I'll confirm that one to my TM. Then comments translated. Confirm that one to my TM as well. I'm getting a little information error there. Oh, space. Too many spaces. Oh, that's why I put that in the wrong place. Oh, that was a bit silly, wasn't it? Comments. Okay, that's better. Um, and on this one, present the comments. So I've got, I've got another error there, what's that error telling me? I think it's giving me an error here because I've got a track change in there. So Studio is no longer seeing that as a track change and, um, and it's probably picking up that text as being a space. So I've got an additional space in there between the comma and the word the after deleted sections parts of the text. So I'm not going to worry about that, I'm just going to ignore that error. In fact, I'm just going to turn and get rid of it. Um, and. I'm done. So now I'm going to save my target. I'll put a T at the beginning to save it. And if I come back to the project, I opened up the target file. You can see I've got my comments translated in there, and the target translation is now translated with track changes exactly the same as they as. Um, as it would be if I'd done them in Word. And that's it. So it is pretty straightforward. You can do it in Studio. I do think it gets a bit messy sometimes with all the different changes. One thing you might like to note is that when you're translating with track changes, what you can do is you can view them in final mode like that. So you can toggle the track changes being on and off just to make sure that it still makes sense. Um, because obviously when you're making changes to the document, probably best to do this when you're reviewing it to make sure that it's all nice and clear and you haven't made any, any silly mistake because it can be a little confusing when you're seeing both the deleted and the inserted text. But that works quite nicely I think and that will do the job. The alternative of course is to not do it like that at all. The alternative is to, uh, if I just accept all the changes, so they're now all completely accepted and if I just save that target, I'll call that target 2. So now I've got a second target and this time there should be no track changes in there, only the comments. And then what I can do is I can use the word compare feature and compare two versions of a document. The original document is going to be first draft, which is that one, and the revised document is going to be the second draft, because that's the one that has no track changes in it anymore, click on OK, and then Word will do a comparison and it gives me this document that you can see here. So, so by using Word, I can get a combined document. At the moment I'm showing two documents, but I could use this combine. I think that will do the same trick. And take, I need to go and find them again. Take the first draft. And then the second that one, combine the documents and then you get one single document which has got all the track changes in them which um, is possibly what you want. 
So you've got two different ways of doing it there. One is to use Studio and actually translate the track changes. The other way is to accept all the track changes um, in the target file. So you've got a, 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 an original um, document and a target document, both of which have got no track changes, and then use this word compare feature to put the track changes back in just by comparing the file. And both of them will work. So maybe that will help.